morning. You're watching Breakfast Television award-winning chef and author of Raw, Quick, and Delicious. I love this cookbook. <laughs> Doug McNish is here, and you were just telling me that you are at uh, the Evergreen Brickworks every Saturday. Yeah, Evergreen Brickworks every Saturday with my food and my cookbooks. It's harvest season right now. Uh, come out, support the local farmers, the organic uh, food community. It's funny because I've been questioning you while we're off camera. I'm like, <laughs> really? How do you do that? That's cauliflower. But let's go through some of the recipes here. For sure. I'm just amazed. This is all raw. What do we have? So we have the cashew almond gnocchi tossed mm -hmm. in a uh, easy tomato marinara sauce. Yes. So what I have here is a gnocchi dough. Mm -hmm. And we've taken it and we've rolled it out. So I'm going to pass one over to you. Okay. I'm going to take one myself. And it's really simple. It's just like a traditional gnocchi. Yes. So what I'm going to do is get you, I'm going to pass the knife to you, and you can cut it into little pieces. Just like gnocchi. Yeah, just like a traditional gnocchi. What's in here? So this is a cashew almond flaxseed based. Mm -hmm. um, it's really simple to make. And what we can do is we can take the gnocchi that you have just cut, mm -hmm. and we can take a little bit of, this is the easy tomato marinara sauce. And we can toss that together. That I'm looks gonna, beautiful. This is, again, all the recipes, five ingredients or less, 15 minutes or less at the table. You can give it a toss, just like Nona, huh? Yeah. Hey, <laughs> okay, what do I do with it? We're going to take that and we're going to put it right just onto the onto finished the plate dish. here. So that's an nice. example of a really simple, easy, five ingredient or less raw food main course. We have angel hair beet and greens here. So again, it's just angel hair beets. It's the greens that are attached to them. Perfect for this time of season. Um, if we move over here, we this have- This is crazy. <laughs> no, seriously. So this is raw shepherd's pie. Raw shepherd's pie. Yes. So the top- Nothing is cooked in there. Nothing is cooked in here. You know what? It's about manipulating the flavors and the textures of the vegetables, the nuts and the seeds. Yeah. To make it familiar. That's right. I have to taste the yeah, potato so this is part, a, which is not potato. No, it's cauliflower and cashew mashed potatoes. So you're still going to get the creamy texture from it, mm. right? Again, it's about manipulating those fats and those mm. textures. Yeah. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> People look at me like I'm crazy when I tell them nothing's cooked. It's all well, raw, vegan. I was looking vegan. at you crazy yeah, before right. we came up. I'm like, there is no way that you did not cook the cauliflower. But no. So again, that's an example of a really simple uh, main course you can do in 15 minutes, ready so to the good. table for the family. Um, so here, this is nori. Mm -hmm. So this is a snack in my book. Okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pass you a spoon. Yes. And you're just going to finish spreading the pate right to the edge of the nori. Okay? okay, so what is in the pate? So this is sunflower seeds, ginger, dill, a little bit of nori, um, and lemon juice. Okay. And all you're going to want to do is spread it right to the edges of the nori. Okay. Okay. You're laughing at no, me. No, that's okay. <laughs> all right. And we're just going to grab the edges now. Yes. And we're going to do this together. We're going to flip it over, mm -hmm. and we're going to roll up. You make it easy for people to start eating raw. You know what? People are so intimidated. They think everything is soaked and sprouted and dehydrated, and it really doesn't have to be. So we're going to take it now. Yeah, we're going to take the finished product. Yes. And you're going to give it a slice right in the down the middle. Right in the middle. Right here? in the middle. Yeah. Okay. Uh, why is eating raw so good for us? You know what? Minimally processed ingredients in their whole organic state, easy for digestion, tons of nutrition, but the most important thing is they taste really good. Okay, I'm not very good at this. That's okay. Is that okay? <laughs> that's Can I okay. give this to you to finish? Yeah, that's okay. Um, uh, th this one right over here, I need to try this one as well. Yeah, okay. so these are, this is an example of a really simple raw dessert. So these are mini chocolate banana flax cakes. Okay. So all this is is banana, raw agave nectar, flax seeds, and a little bit of vanilla. No baking. No baking whatsoever. All done in a blender, blended and pushed together into a mold. It is so good. Really, really simple, easy. That's the most important thing to remember. And good for you? And very good for you. I like it because there's just five five ingredients. Five ingredients. Yeah, absolutely. Five ingredients, um, 175 recipes. Okay. And um, I wanted to bring out one thing here. Okay, I do have a T-shirt. What does it say? The kale is the new beef. Hey! Everyone needs more kale in their life. <laughs> kale right? is the new beef. So Kevin remember. Frankish. Uh, so remember. <laughs> Kevin Frankish. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, you can follow Doug at Doug uh, McNish, and your book is available online in all major bookstores. Thank yep. you so much. You're and welcome. you can go to DougMcNish.com. If you head to my website, I'm about to go on a, a mini local organic book tour. Um, so check for dates in your area. I'll be out for the next three or four months. You got it. Thank Congratulations you so much. on this great cookbook. Thank you. And I'm Thank just going to keep eating this because it's delicious. <laughs>